Hi everybody, I'm Courtney and together with my husband Steve, we are a stream in life. We live full time in our 30 foot Airstream travel trailer traveling around the US. Today we wanted to share some tips on how to store an entire wardrobe in an RV. Like I said, we live full time in our Airstream. We have been for quite a while. And we come from Arizona, which means we are used to a lot of heat, um, very warm temperatures. But right now we're traveling in Oregon, which means that yesterday or two days ago it was 100 degrees. And today the high is only like 70 and it's getting into the low 50s, 40s at night. And we're gonna head to the shore where it's even colder. So we need pretty much our entire wardrobe all the time. And you can do that in an RV. It does require that you consolidate and have probably a smaller wardrobe than you would have in a house, but we have everything we need. We can go two to three weeks without having to do laundry, and we never feel like we are missing out and not having something. In this video, I'm gonna show you my wardrobe and how I store my clothes in the Airstream. Um, Steve actually has around the same number of clothes as I do and his, his storage system is similar, but I'm just gonna show you mine. So let's get started. I have, for, to store my wardrobe, really th three main areas. There's a couple of other things I'll talk about in a second, but three main daily areas. And those are an overhead compartment um, above the bed in the Airstream, a side hanging compartment, and a drawer. That's pretty much my closet and my dresser on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have a frontmost um, closet and we store our coats there, but that's the only thing we store there. And then we do keep one bin under our bed that has some winter clothes and some dress clothes for when we have to go to weddings or something like that. So things that we don't access very often. But normally on a day-to-day -day basis, all of the clothes that I own are in either the overhead compartment, the hanging thing next to my bed, or the drawer. So I'm going to show you all three of those and all my clothes and how I fold them and fit them all in there. So this is my overhead compartment. Tip to the ladies, if you are ha getting an RV and it's one of the older ones, you may end up having a fuse box in one of these overhead compartments. Check that out before you decide which side of the bed is yours. I actually have less storage space than Steve, but that's okay. So this is where some of my storage is. I highly recommend bins or boxes like this. You'll see I have clear plastic ones under the bed. They allow me to stack, where otherwise I would just have a stack of clothes like this and I'm not gonna be able to easily get the things in the bottom. Now I can just take these little bins out and get to whatever I want. So in this bin, there's normally three cardigans. Obviously I don't fold them real well, but um, the other one's out because I was wearing it. So these are cardigans and they're on top so they have easy access to them. And here I have underwear and bathing suits. And this one is all different pairs of socks, regular socks and hiking socks, specialty socks, things like that. So in the morning when I need to grab something, I can just lift, even just put my hand in, grab a pair of socks, I know exactly where they are. The other thing I have back here is actually all of my dresses. So another tip for living in an RV is you're gonna be folding things that you otherwise would probably be hanging in a house. All of these dresses are made of materials that don't wrinkle very well or don't wrinkle much. Um, and that makes it so that I can fold them, stuff them quite tightly in this little container um, and still have a nice selection of dresses to choose from when I want to. The last thing I have in here is this little cloth pouch, very easy. And this is where I again, keep some underwear. Um, and that way it can squish so I don't have to worry about space. I could actually probably fit another one of these bins and even more back behind this fuse box, but I don't need to, so I don't. Now every RV storage is gonna be different and the size is gonna be different. So what I have may not work for you, but the idea of having smaller containers that you fold your clothes in a certain way is what I'm trying to get across to show that you can stack a lot more clothing in a space than you might think. So the next area that I have is this hanging 
area next to the bed. And in truth, I don't use this very much for clothing. Um, I know other people who do, but I enjoy having this as my bedside table, so I don't want things hanging down where it's going to interfere with my glass of water and my clock and everything at night. So all I have hanging in here are actually a few scarves that I just have hooked on like that. Also in here I have some cloth bins. where I have more scarves just folded so I can see them and easily pull them out um, when I might want them. And again, that's just to show that this is a very big, tall area, but I can have lots of little things that I can pull out and grab. So the majority of my daily clothing is in my one drawer under the bed. Um, I'm going to lift the bed to show you that and I'll pull out those bins so that you can see what type of folding I do and how I store all my shirts and pants and skirts and everything like that. So I don't normally have to lift the bed to get this clothing. I can just pull this drawer out, but it's easier for you to see with the bed lifted what I have in here. So let me pull these out and then we'll put the bed back down and I'll show you what's in each one. This is how my wardrobe is arranged in the drawer, exactly like this. Um, so this little container, plastic container, which I got from the container store, contains all of my short sleeve shirts. Very easy. I, um, I roll them, I, I fold them kind of in a KonMari style so that I can see them easily, but it, it's kind of an adapted style so that they fit correctly in the drawer and um, so I can see them. So all my short sleeve shirts besides the one I'm wearing right here. This container is all my long sleeve shirts. I have a few sweaters in the back and then some lighter long sleeve shirts in the front. Again, folded kind of in a way that they all fit so that I can see them easily for me. So these are all the shirts I own. I know it doesn't look like that many, but you have to realize how many there actually are here. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 short sleeve shirts, which is almost two weeks if I don't rewear any. And then I have two, four, six, eight, nine long sleeve shirts. That's a week and a half. So just there, I have three and a half weeks worth of shirts. And we do laundry every two weeks or so on the road. And so this, I've never had a problem with running out of shirts. If for some reason it is too cold and I run out of long sleeve shirts, I have short sleeve shirts and cardigans and sweatshirts um, that can take care of that. Pants. I have two pairs of jeans, the ones I'm wearing and this one right here. I have two pairs of hiking pants. And then I have some other workout type pants. So pants. This is my workout hiking bin. It has workout pants, hiking pants, workout shirts, um, shorts, those kinds of things. And this one is more of my bottoms bin. So I have shorts, a couple pairs of dress pants, a couple skirts, and a pair of leggings. So with all of this, I have a huge number of wardrobe variations. In fact, it's much more than what you would get in like a capsule wardrobe or something like that. Mostly because I have winter through summer options all right here at my fingertips. So some tips about a wardrobe in an RV. When we were downsizing, we would, we had much bigger closets, much bigger drawers, and we used some of the methods that people use, such as turning all of our hangers around and then after six months, because we knew we were gonna be doing this in a year, if nothing had been, if something had not been worn, looking at it, really deciding if we were ever gonna wear it and getting rid of it. You really don't need as many clothes as we think we do. A lot of us reach in and grab the same things every time anyway, because they're our favorites. So if you haven't read Con Marie book about um, the magic of tidying up, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link below. Pretty much the idea is only keep things that you actually like and want to wear or have. If something makes you sad or makes you feel guilty because you have it, don't keep it. I had plenty of those things. Oh, that would have been nice. 
Not anymore. I will wear everything that is here in my wardrobe. Once you've downsized a good amount, then it's time to figure out how to fit those clothes in the space you have. You may have more hanging space than I do, and maybe you're able to hang a lot more. Um, for me, it was a trial and error. I see a lot of RVers with giant stacks of shirts or pants or clothes because we have deep drawers or deep cabinets. And while that may work for them, for me it meant that when I tried to pull something out of the center, everything got unfolded and it was just a total mess. This allows me to easily access the different parts of my wardrobe, see everything I own when I want to, and not have to worry about unfolding everything in order to get to the thing at the bottom of the pile. So I highly recommend looking into containers that will allow you to stack clothes um, or wardrobe items to make it easier in such a small space. A couple more, more tips about a wardrobe. Try to stick to a color palette. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the colors in my wardrobe are the same. I don't really have anything that's brown. I do blacks and grays and blue jeans and then blues, greens, purples, turquoises. That's kind of my color palette. And that means that almost anything can go with anything else that I own. And that makes it again so I have a lot more wardrobe options. Another way to make your wardrobe stand out is to have accessories that can also add to it, which is why I have a, such a large collection of scarves and shawls. That means, again, that I can wear the same outfit but spice it up, do something different, make it more dressy by just adding one small piece of jewelry or a scarf or a hat or something along those lines. So that's my how-to, how I store my wardrobe in our Airstream. I'm sure there are lots of other ideas, um, especially people who've been on the road or living in a tiny space longer than I have. We've been on the road or in our Airstream for over a year, on the road for a few months now, and this really works for us. The stackable sec uh, selection of clothing in our drawers and cabinets. But if you have suggestions for us, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. We're always looking for new ways of organizing. If you have any questions about wardrobe, um, how to downsize, how many items of clothing I have, I don't actually know. I'm perfectly willing to count for you though. Please leave that in the comments as well. Because again, um, we're trying to share our journey and the tips and tricks we've learned along the way. If you liked this video, we would love it if you gave us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to join us on our journey around the country and all of our learning experiences and fun times, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. And that's it for this week. See you guys later. Bye.